This is Billy Ruth Hopkins Viruichi on KCIW, 100.7 on your FM dial, right here in beautiful downtown Brookings, where almost every day is a beautiful day and we can always choose to say yes. Life is indeed very, very good. You may remember that this is a work of pure reinvention of the truth, as Joyce Carol Oates likes to say. So listen to the next episode of Angelita's Adventures in Outer Space. You get to determine how any story relates to you. I recommend that you sit back, suspend all disbelief, and let's see what happens next. You might remember, dear listeners, that we left Angela, Wisteria, and Grandma Gaga in a dream dressed in long golden robes with hoods looking like wise sages, swaying back and forth, standing on a pink and gold cloud, not really knowing what was going on. Hmm. Let's listen in. Escuchen, escuchen, listen to the ethereal voices as love appears. We We are the the three-phase fountain, fountain. the way to peace, peace. harmony, Harmony. love. 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 We We are the way of a surges. Well, well, wait, well, wait, hey, what, what are those voices? It's just a dream, Angela. Go back to sleep. You haven't even come to the good part yet when all the soldiers crawl across a frozen lake. Their weapons are slung across their backs, and they're desperately trying to get to the shore. Uh, uh, Oh, hey, Thurgis, is that you? Por supuesto, Angela. Siempre estoy en estos sueños apoyándote. Oh, am I ever glad to see you, Ethurgis. Can I hold on to your tail, just in case? In case what, Angela? I mean, I mean, what if this cloud we're standing on suddenly decides to disappear? It's your dream, Angela, so just don't let that happen. Can I do that? Por supuesto, Angela. For future reference, you can always control your dreams, and you should, by the way. That's right, Angela, since this is just a dream. Let's get all the soldiers across the frozen lake and transform their weapons into their wings. Ooh, watch. Ay, ay, ay. Están volando. Mire, Angela. Look at the way they are flying in a V formation like a squadron of blue angels. Oh, my stars. Look at them go. Wow, look. I love this dream. I remember Grandma Gaga telling me about this same dream, right? You're absolutely right, Angela. You're absolutely right. Well, dear listeners, you might remember in our last episode... Grandma Gaga was telling Angela and Zerko how she met the handsome Joe Hopkins. So let's leave their dream for a moment and go continue that story. They're back home. I think I hear them now, just finishing dinner. Mother Athandra 
might be up to some kind of divine intervention. Let's listen in. Well, you two better get on home now and take Thurgis with you. I'm getting sleepy. Go on now. Wisteria's going to be worried if you're out too late. Me, I'm ready to hit the sack. Ooh, Grandma Gaga after roast beef and mashed potatoes again? Wanda, it's after seven. You should know better than that. Thanks. Thanks for dinner, Grandma Gaga. Ha, ha, ha. Are you, are you going to be okay, you know? You're not supposed to, huh, eat that kind of food, that kind of heavy food after seven. Zerko, she knows that. You're going to toss and turn all night, Grandma Gaga. Tomorrow you'll be telling us about another crazy dream, like the last one about the soldiers flying away, like blue angels. That one was wild. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I remember. That one, ha <laughs> ha, you, you were all floating on a pink cloud and chanting some ha <laughs> ha weird stuff about your <laughs> rock shop then. Not my rock shop, Zerko. It was the fountain, the real fountain over there in Slida, the one in the middle of the Swan Lake there, that fountain, remember? You've, you've been over there. That's the three-phase fountain, Zerko. And the three praise mountain is Mount Shivano and them other two peaks up there, you know. Those two peaks, Grandma Gaga. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Grandma Gaga, yeah, I know the one. Uh, you mean, uh, yeah, uh, you mean uh, Mount Ontario and Mount Harvard up there by Monarch, right? We used to go camping up there when... When we were just kids, uh, 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 isn't Mount, isn't Mount, isn't Mount, isn't Mount Shivano right between? Let's do that hike up there to his heart space one of these days, Angela. Well, Zerko, I'd be real careful about that. Your, your bum leg and all. Besides, this ain't no time of year to be hiking up them mountains. Wicked thunderstorms and strange clouds can come out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, like in your weird dream, right, <laughs> Grandma Gaga? <laughs> Don't worry, I, I can take I can take care of myself even with this bum leg. <laughs> well, yeah, I know, Zirko, but I suppose we better just go home now. And you, Grandma Gaga, you better stay up for a while or you'll be having another one of those wild dreams. Come on, Athurgis, let's go. Yeah, 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 I'll stay up for another hour or so. I'll, I'll be fine. Just go on, stop making fun of your old grandma's dreams. Dreams can teach you a lot, though, you know. Now, now just get, just get. Well, now, Angela's right, Wanda. Start paying attention to your inner gut for a change. Hey, Pop, I'm afraid Wanda's going to have a bad dream again after all those, that roast beef and mashed potatoes. Which dream, Mother Thondra? Well, you know the one I mean, Pop, the one where she's on the deck of Mothership Thondra, the one where she's the space pilot Thondra. And Wisteria comes floating up beside her. Oh, yeah. Then Angela morphs into Wisteria's body, slowly getting older and older right before our eyes. I remember that. Yeah, and, and then she sees Senor Roel floating out in space. Then they... Don't worry, Mother, don't worry. Wanda won't remember much of it anyway. Not enough anyway to know what's going to happen. She'll just have a nagging feeling about something vaguely terrible. She might remember something about Senor Roel floating away from Wisteria. Yeah, and getting, getting him sucked into that black hole, that huge black hole. She's, she'll probably just think it, that they might just break up. Oh, <laughs> break up. That's a good one. Which is exactly what he did when... All of those green lizards from Venus got pulled into that very same black hole with him. Then the flying white unicorn, Ethereus, at least he kept his head. Oh, ho, 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 ho. 
oh, when she wakes up, she might remember bits and pieces, and she might even tell Wisteria about it, but... Well, you're right, Pop. Wisteria's used to her mother's crazy dreams. She'll blame it on the roast beef and mashed potatoes for sure. Ha, 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 ha. But what if Wanda remembers too much? Won't she wonder what's going on with such crazy dreams? I don't want her to know. Not yet. Right. Right. Yeah, well, we'll blame it on the roast beef. I mean, I've warned her a dozen zillion times about that. She just ignores me. She ignores me too, Pop. I'm sure she can hear me. But then she just goes ahead and does as she pleases anyway. Earthlings, have they always been so pig-headed? Okay, Wanda, talk to Joe for a bit, then hit the sack, as you say. Well, Joe, darling, that teenage granddaughter of ours is growing up. You'd like her even though she's a bit sarcastic. Pretty cynical sometimes, too, a lot like you were, actually. Maybe I'll see you in this crystal ball here one of these nights, Joe. Hmm, let's look in it now. I wish I still had dreams about you. Oh, well, nighty night, Joe. Oh, sweet dreams. Yes, Wanda, sweet dreams. Now put down that crystal orb. Lie down and relax. Yes. There you go, that's it. Breathe deeply. Yes, you know how to do this, Wanda. Breathe in through the nose. Breathe in all the love from the entire universe and now breathe out through the mouth and send it out to everyone you love. There now. Once more, breathe in and hold. One, two, three, four. Breathe out. Two, three, four. There you go. You're going to sleep. Next breath, a little deeper now. A little deeper now. Now, you're getting sleepy now. Yawn a bit. Thank you very much. That's right. Now off to dreamland you go. Hmm. Who's that drifting in the distance at your upper left periphery? Give me my distance glasses, Mother. Well, he, you know, that that looks like Wisteria Pop. She's floating, yeah, she's floating on a gold and pink cloud merging with Wanda. And now, <gasps> look, Wanda and Wisteria are merging with Angela. Oh, thank orb. It's a good dream. It's about Wisteria becoming the goddess Etheria. I'm so glad I saved her from that black hole. Now Wanda's slowly emerging from the other two, and she's, oh, oh my stars, Wanda is becoming Super Ethandra. She looks a bit like a clone of me. Ha ha, Pop. Ha, there she is, turning it all into a wonderful dream after all. Super Ethandra. Space adventurer, all decked out in her shimmering gold lame uniform, emblazed with diamonds and interwoven into the infinity seal of the galactic matriarchs. Oh, you ladies are awesome. Saving Earth's solar system the way you did. Too bad I had to destroy it anyway. <laughs> Why do you always have to intervene, Pop? I almost never forgave you for that one. Sometimes you can be downright cruel. Harboring resentments will just give you heartburn, Mother. Now let's see how Wanda's dream is coming along. I want to paint a technicolor picture for our listeners. Now let's watch as space Adventurer Super Thondra strides down the deck of a decaying mothership and creeps through the grand central control room with her crew, following her somewhat reluctantly for some reason. Oh, my orb. The control room is strewn with shattered PCRTD crystalline orbs. 
Oh, Pop, oh, look, look, look at all those colors. Some of those shattered orbs look like they might still be alive. They're shimmering. It's what's left of the PCRTDs first developed by Earth's master autocrats to control all thinking, language, literature, art, music, and dance, everything. There they are, literally destroyed. Bits and pieces of Earth's historical records. Listen, they're still humming and buzzing. Humming and buzzing. Humming and buzzing. That electromagnetic static is ungodly, and that whine is piercing my eardrums. All that chattering and buzzing, I can hardly stand it. Pop! Pop! Breathe, Mother. It's just Wanda's dream. None of it is real, yet... Hmm, what is real? What is a dream? Oh, we're going to have to keep a watchful eye on her once Wisteria is... I know, Pop. I know, Pop. Meow. Yo puedo ayudar también. No olviden, I can help too. Don't forget, I'll be right there to keep Angela and Zirko and Grandma Gaga in el camino de recho. Necesitan reunir. Angelita y Shavano, somehow she can't reunite with them all alone. What's happening? Hey, I can't see. Le I left my glasses somewhere. Mom, help me find my glasses. Meow! Se me hace que Super Thunder está recogiendo uno de los pedacitos que está iluminando y casi cantando. It looks like Super Thunder is picking up one of those little shards. A dark blue crescent-shaped crystalline shard that's still glowing, luminescent, and even singing. <sighs> Some are humming and clicking like static in old broken telephone wires. Now, meow, now the sounds are all coalescing. I can almost understand what they're saying. But they're speaking in a thousand voices, merging, speaking in unison. As they drift through space, mire, papa, van al planeto de Aetherius. Yeah, pop, didn't you keep all them alive down there on that beautiful forest along the banks of some river? I did indeed. They are the crystalline voices of the forest fairies now living on the planet of Aetherius, across the bridge of the eternal abyss, above the river of Let Go. Listen. They are speaking now in one voice. Listen, Wanda, you can hear them clearly now. We, we are the crystal voices. The spaces between all these all these all these all these all these all forms shall vanish. Only 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 spaces shall abide as one. We are love. We are love. We are the veil of the veil of the veil and prejudice and prejudice and hatred. Hatred is now dissolved. We are one. We are one. Somos and somos. We are love. We are love. The veil, 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 we hold, 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 we heal, we heal, we heal, we heal, we heal, curamos todos heridos, we bring peace and harmony, trajemos la paz y armonía. Our path is love and harmony. Nuestro camino es amor y armonía. Our way is forgiveness. Light appears through fear. We replace dependence with emergence into transformation. We flow into the three-phase fountain, the way of peace, harmony, and love. The way of Ethurgis. Well, well, who uh, was I dreaming? Ethurgis. The way, wait, the way of Ethurgis? My cat? Are we talking about Ethurgis, my cat? Angelita? Who, what, what about Angelita? What's going on here? What was that all about? Go back to sleep, Wanda. It's all well. Just go back to sleep. Pop, we, we better check on Angela. 
and Zirko and Athurgis, what are they up to now? Zirko's leg seems to be bothering him more than usual tonight. Must be the damp air. Early spring thunderstorms could develop quickly in that part of Colorado. Look how Athurgis is sticking pretty close to him. Angela's way up there ahead. They're almost home, though, now. Don't worry. Oh, come on. Come on. Zirko! Hoo-hoo. Zirko, don't be such a wimp. Come on. It's just, uh, huh. Angela, stop. Stop bullying me, Angela. You're as bad as those boys at school. Am not. Or, or two. Am not. Or, or, or two. Am not. Or, or, or two. Come on. Okay, you kids. We get it already. Hey, Pop. Here's a great idea. Let's transform them into animated characters as they walk home in the moonlight. This next sequence would be more fun that way. Oh, I love it when you get creative, Mother. Oh, watch how I do this. Okay. Animated. Black and white or color? Hmm, I don't know. Let's kind of mix it up a little bit. The full moon ought to shine down in color, that's for sure. Okay. Okay. Angela and Zirko walking through town in the moonlight. Let's follow this animation. The third is, is leading the way. Now, they're almost home. Angela motions for them to keep quiet. Shh, shh, shh. They sneak into her room and ever so quietly. Oh, look, they're packing up a few things. In a makeshift backpack. Oh, oh my goodness, Papa. Now they're, they're tiptoeing out of the house and ever so quietly. They're closing the door. Oh, look how cute that a third just is popping up and down on all fours. <laughs> meow, meow. Oh, 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 Wisteria. Oh, Wisteria almost wakes up. Oh, no. Don't worry. I put her back to sleep again already. Still has that book in her hand, though. As always, her favorite Russian novel, The Master and Margarita. What a classic. I always loved that one, too. Is that you, kids? Be sure to brush your teeth before you go to bed. Let's see. Um, let me back, go back to my book. Where was I right? Page 260. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, I love this part. Page 260, where Margarita flies out her third-story window on the broom over the midnight lights of Moscow on her way to the Devil's Ball. Oh, where is it? Yeah, let me find it. Let me find it. Let me find it. Oh, here it is. Oh, oh, I love this part. Careful to avoid wires, Margarita pressed the broom in her hand, and in an instant she was above the ill-starred building. Under her feet a jumble of roofs crisscrossed by gleaming paths, all of a sudden shifted to the side, and the chains of the lights blurred and ran together. Margarita made another spurt upward, and the whole medley of roofs fell away into a pool of quivering electric lights. Oh, Margarita. Okay, Wisteria, we get the point. Okay, let's watch the Thurges, Angela, and Zirko again. They're tripping out there. They're tiptoeing as quietly as they can up the highway towards Swan Lake. They're going on. Oh my gosh, they're going to go try to climb Mount Shivano. Oh, I can't believe it. It's almost midnight. How did they do that? Oh, it's really late and cold, too, Pop. They can't be thinking of climbing Mount Shivano tonight, can they? Looks like that's exactly where they're headed. Oh, but look, Zirko can't keep up. His leg is bothering him way too much. Hey, Angela, uh, the, uh, Angela, this is crazy. We'll never make it up there before morning, and it's cold. And, uh, Angela, my mom's going to freak out. I'm not doing this. And your mom, Wisteria's going to be out of her mind with worry, too. I'm not doing it. Oh, Circle, don't be such a wimp, Circle. I'm going. I'm just going. So you just turn around and go home if you want to. Gimpo wimpo. I, I, I heard, I, I heard that. Oh, my poor butt. Just go home. 
I'm doing this. Thank poor Zircon made it back home. He's sneaking in through the back door with Styria still reading aloud, of course. <laughs> oh, now Zephyr's awake too. Did I hear something? Is that you kids? I thought you were already in bed. Remember to brush your teeth, Zergo. Yeah, 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 Mom. Night, Mom. Night, Wisteria. Night, night, you two. Don't leave that cat out all night. God knows what trouble he could get into. I could read this book for centuries. I'm just going to read a little more and then get to sleep now. Well, listeners, as Wisteria falls asleep, she hears static, transforming into crystalline voices of the forest fairies, lulling her into a deep slumber and profound dreams. Wisteria, Etheria, take time to heed. Listen well. Bring Angela and Aethurgis home across the three praise mountain, down the river of regeneration, and through the three face fountain. Wait, wait, what what were those voices? What were they saying? What's going on? <gasps> well, it's that same old dream again, isn't it? My dream, mine too. Yours too? Oh, it looks like it. Who's who's Etheria? Where's Angela? I was on some other planet in the future. Uh, we were all, were we all? We were all on Ethereus? Where am I? Who are those soldiers crawl, crawling across the ice? Oh, my stars. I better go find Zerko. Ethergis, where are you? We have to go. We have to get back to Crestone. So that must mean, oh, wait, wait. Where are we? Where did we go? Meow. Just follow me, Angela. Hey, Lethurgis, was that you? Wake up, ladies. You can do this. Just follow Lethurgis. Cats have their ways, you know. Meow, Damas. Sigueme. Soy el camino derecho. Follow me. I am the way. Oh, I wake it up. Oh, my goodness. What a wild dream. Mm. Okay, where is that cat now? Where'd that cat go to? Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Where'd that cat get to anyway? Here, Thurgis. Where in tarnation does that cat get to every night? Come in, Thurgis. Come on in. Breakfast is ready. Wow, listeners. Looks like the only way to get back is to follow with Thurgis. I sure hope you're here next time to see where all this craziness leads. Meantime, as they say, stay calm and carry on. Lead the way, Ethurgis. You have been listening to Angelita's Adventures in Outer Space. This is Billy Ruth Hopkins Ferrucci. Stay tuned for the next episode on KCIW 100.7 on your FM dial right here in beautiful downtown Brookings, Oregon. Listen to us on podcast at www.kciw.org forward slash Angelitas dash wings. That's A-N-G-E-L-I-T-A-S Dash wings. Hasta la vista. By the way, the music in the background is all by my grand nephew, Samuel Rex Spivey, who can be found on SoundCloud Invincible Pyro. Thanks, Samuel. I appreciate your creativity and your spectacular imagination.